Uh, next, I'd like to introduce a young man who probably needs no introduction. Uh, he's played many roles here at Woodgrove, uh, including perhaps most famously as a four and a half foot tall Korean woman. <laughs> but that's not all. And in fact, uh, he'll play another role, his crowning achievement here this, this, uh, this morning uh, as our speaker uh, giving a senior address, selected by the faculty, by the way. This is Chris Consol. All right, thank you. Um, I'm Chris Consol. Uh, thanks. First of all, I'd like to thank you all for coming. Uh, I am so incredibly privileged to speak to you all today. I will be focusing this speech on just three words. Work. <laughs> Honor, strive. <laughs> Three simple words that have been said by Mr. Ship over the morning announcements more times than any of us could count. At this point, it kind of just sounds like a noise. Work, honor, strive, work, honor, strive. Well, <laughs> is this just a catchy refrain, or do these words really have any relevance to us? Well, I believe they do. Uh, sure, when I first saw these words on a science, in the science hallway on a poster, I thought, oh, work on or strive, WHS, that, that's cute, okay? But <laughs> by next year, what'll it be? Well, as you all know, these words are still around, and as far as I'm aware, the admin has no intention of changing them, right? Nope, okay. <laughs> all right, let's start with work. Uh, you're all sitting here today because of the hard work you did over the past four years. We've all spent long hours typing essays, only to turn them in without MLA citations, or is that just me? No. <laughs> or using our entire weekend to watch John Green crash course videos in the hopes of passing an AP history test. But work doesn't only apply to academia. Every single one of us has a different set of skills. I know for a fact that I'm not able to wrestle like Dylan Shockey, all right? And I certainly can't draw as well as Josh Cromwell. And I don't know nearly anything as much about the Balkans as Eamon does. <laughs> These three are all perfect examples of what hard work can do. I can't even imagine how many hours Dylan has spent in the wrestling room training, making sure he's the best he can be. Or how many pencils and erasers Josh has burned through trying to get his drawing just right. And I guarantee you, Eamon knows more about the history of the Balkan Peninsula than all of the teachers at Woodgrove combined. <laughs> and what I find truly admirable about these young men is that they have found the things they loved and have worked to be great at them. What is truly amazing about the class of 2015 is that I could have picked any one of you as an example of what it means to work hard at something you love. Work is a crucial step to success, but the step before work is to find that thing you love more than anything, and once you find that passion, you can put your hard work to a good cause. Um, next, there's honor. Uh, when I was writing this speech, it felt wrong not to mention the vacant seat amongst us today. Uh, Ryan Bartell's death was a tragedy that shocked us all, and our entire school dealt with their grief in different ways. I make no claims to have known Ryan well, however he sat next to me in AP World History sophomore year. He knew everything about the Cold War to the point where, uh, by third quarter, Mr. Skinner was asking him for help. Um, to honor Ryan, we all need to acknowledge the fact that we're human beings. Human beings with flaws and complexities, with thoughts and emotions that are intricate beyond belief. And every single one of us is connected by that fact, that we're just human. It can be very easy to forget, and we're all guilty of that. But honor means more than not cheating on a test. It means being able to live with integrity. It means being able to admit when you've made a mistake, but don't worry. Making mistakes just reaffirms the fact that you're just human, like everybody else. The final letter in the WHS acronym is STRIVE, which to me seems oddly fitting. We're all currently at a jumping off point. We're packing our bags, saying our goodbyes, and shipping off, going our separate ways. While many of us are going off to four-year universities, some choose a different path. Next year, Katie Schnabel will be starting her missionary career uh, teaching and serving in the Dominican Republic. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Robbie Sorensen is headed to the New York Maritime College for ROTC and Naval Engineering. 
And Taylor Terrell is joining the Marine Corps. So. That is amazing. Three incredible young people with three different and unique roads ahead of them. And no matter what your plans for the future are, at some point in the years to come, you will experience failure. On our paths to success, everyone falls. But why do we fall? So we can learn to pick ourselves back up again. That's a Batman quote. <laughs> but uh, I, think it, I think it serves my purpose. <laughs> success comes to those who strive for it. Find that passion, that thing that excites you most in the world, and then go for it. Strive for success. Years from now, this day, this very moment is just going to be a hazy memory. The names and faces of your peers are going to fade, and you probably won't even remember that I spoke to you today. But if there's anything you take away from this speech, it's that the rest of your life belongs to you. Find your passion and chase it. Know that obstacles are going to get in the way, and you'll experience failure. Believe me, I'm going to be a theater major. <laughs> One woo, OK. Thanks, Mom. Um, but that will not deter you. Because once you have a destination, the road is all that's left. I want to leave you with a quote. Mr. Ship once said, may the light of education warm your hearts. And always remember to work, honor, and strive. Thank you, class of 2015. All right, all right, all right. I don't know the stats on theater major success in the world, Chris, but I think you have a pretty good shot, my friend, of making something of yourself. <laughs>